Mozambique, yeah. Mozambique, Mozambique, yeah. Nah, Rose Smith here. Boys and girls, welcome back to another video. And in today's one, we may or may not have found some leaked images of Apex Legends Mobile. Are you boys ready? Check this out. Let's go! So, welcome back to another video on the upcoming game, Apex Legends Mobile. I'm really excited today, guys, as I've basically found some Apex images that look very mobile-like. But before I show you these, I want to explain that I basically have two moderators that have found these images for me, as they state they have had contact with an art engineer at Respawn. Search the whole internet to see if these images were not just taken from the PC and console version of Apex Legends, but I didn't find absolutely anything. I'm going to show them to you anyway, but bear in mind, guys, before you go in the comments and spam, oh, these images are fake, they are not fully 100% confirmed, but again, they're the closest thing we have to the mobile version. And if they are real, then we are in for a treat. Before I go ahead, if you guys want a first glimpse of any news-related stuff for Apex Legends mobile, instead of having to wait for me to upload a video then be sure to join my official discord and twitter in the pinned comments below as that's why i post all of the news first i'm also going to be running a free 50 dollars gift card giveaway and some free finger sleeve giveaways sponsored by mgc mobile so you can find out all of the details of that in the discord server so go and join it right now anyway Let's get into the video. So the first image I want to show you guys is this. This image is taken from the map Kings Canyon, which was the first map to appear in Apex Legends. And I know the first question you guys have on your mind, Roast, why the hell does an alternator SMG have a freaking three times scope on it? I don't really know the answer to that, guys, but as it's just testing, I suppose it doesn't really matter. But for real, I think people are going to struggle shooting enemies up close with an SMG and a three times attached to it. Looking at the rest of the picture, you can tell it actually looks amazing graphically. It has all of the details from the PC and console version, like the overlays at the bottom. You can see the health bar at the bottom, as well as the shield, the purple shield. And I like that they have put the healing item the weapons and the grenades quite close together to make it sort of easy to press while you're on mobile or tablet. You've also got the classic kill count and the kill feed in the top left corner and your teammates in the top right corner and also the map on the bottom left which I think is actually a good placement for the map so you can sort of see the entire screen without the map sort of blocking it in any way. Again if this is actually the real picture of the mobile version then I think we are in for a huge treat as I know your next question is, will you be able to move the HUD around? That'll be a yes. It'll be just like Call of Duty. You're going to be able to move the HUD, the buttons to wherever you like on the screen. So moving on, the next picture sent to me was a picture of the lobby screen, the character select screen, and the, I guess, the shop or skin screen, where you could equip different skins and items. This honestly looks pretty scuffed in my opinion, so I hope this is a shot of sort of the start of the mobile development. I like sort of how clean the layout is, but who the hell is the fat guy in that top picture? The Wraith looks good for sort of mobile graphics. You can also see your sort of level plus your Apex coins and crafting materials in the top right. But again, who the hell is this fat dude? If any of you guys know who the fat dude is, comment below. Okay, and the last picture I actually want to show you guys is the victory screen right here. Again very scuffed but you can tell just from the graphics of the sort of buildings in the bottom right and the rocks that it looks very mobile like but that being said go down in the comments right now and tell me what you think because for a mobile game with the size and the amount of data the maps need in apex legends i think this actually looks pretty good so even if these images are not real and have been made up you can expect the mobile version to look somewhat similar to these images so those three images are what was sent to me from my moderators but i've also been doing a lot of research myself and I've managed to find some weapons, ammo and healing item concepts from way way back three years ago before Apex Legends was even released on PC and console. I want to show these to you guys as I know I keep saying it but they look very very mobile like graphically. So first up we have the Mastiff shotgun which everyone knows is the best shotgun in the game i mean you can argue that the peacekeeper is good as well but in my opinion it's the mastiff all the way next to that we also have the alternator smg 
You could probably expect these weapons to look slightly different in the mobile version, but all in all, this is the closest thing we have. Next is the healing items, which will most likely sort of look exactly the same in the mobile version. You can see the syringe in the bottom left, and you've also got the med kits too. And then lastly, we have the ammo pickups, which look kind of clunky in this image, so I can imagine these will change a lot too in the mobile version, but it's nice to see what they might look like, because we still haven't received anything from respawn yet so i really hope the first three images are real so those are all the images i actually want to show you guys today and again i, I can't stress enough guys please take it with a grain of salt as these are unconfirmed but pretty much the closest thing we have again my moderators they supposedly have a contact with the art director at respawn uh, who actually creates all the art concepts for apex legends pc and console as well so hopefully these are sort of real i don't know but again it's the closest thing we have so i wanted to get a video out and show you guys what we can expect from the mobile version from now as we're only in February, expect some more leaks and maybe even a trailer for the game within the next sort of two months, as obviously the soft launch is coming before June this year. And talking about June, one more thing as well I wanted to mention is in June, Tencent, the creators of Apex Mobile alongside Respawn have their annual game show where they show off all of their new and upcoming games. They have one every single year in June, so we can expect to see a lot more regarding Apex Legends Mobile in that conference. But what I'll be doing, guys, is live streaming that event in June. I know it's still far away, but as long as you're subscribed and you smash that like button, then you can tune into that with me and we'll hopefully see a lot more on Apex Legends Mobile, probably the global release in June. So we're getting closer and closer to the soft launch and I absolutely cannot wait to show you guys what this awesome game will look like. So thank you again for all the support you guys have been giving me. My channel's been blowing up. You guys have been blowing up the videos. I, I really appreciate it. I love every single comment you drop down below. I try and reply to every single one of them. And in the next video, I know I've mentioned this before that I was going to make one, but I've created myself a release date timeline to when I think the global release will be hitting the app stores across the world so make sure you stay tuned for that that's the end of this video thank you guys for watching be sure to comment down below if you have any questions and i'll try to answer them the best i can and just get hyped guys because the soft launch is definitely confirmed and it's going to be with us before june within the next three months so thank you guys for watching see you in the next one peace